Welcome back to Dragon Ball Super Anime Review Episode Number Thirty. Yeah, this is gonna be the first of two videos in a row I'm gonna do right now because I did finish up a particular episode. <laughs> yep. I. But aside from reviewing this, I'm also gonna do right after I finish this video a review of the newest chapter of One Punch Man, which is a quite interesting chapter. Alright, this one is basically the 106th episode of the Dragon Ball Super Manga, not manga, anime. Find him! A death match against an unseen attacker. Ooh. The episode kind of picks up with last week's episode with with Goku taking Roshi off and Roshi basically relaxing. And that's the last see Roshi for the episode. And next time say Goku, he's working, he's basically just somehow ran to Vegeta and Tien. We're looking for uh, basically this whole episode is, is about Gohan and Piccolo dodging a sniper. Yep. You're thinking sniper? You mean someone with a sniper apple trying to set him up? No, this is actually quite different. Yeah, we know a guy called because he's Mirage. Mirror, I think I'm, I'm not sure. We fire his blast from his arms against this big blob guy. Who reflects his particular attacks, and he also can track everybody's moves via body heat, not energy, body heat. Okay, and of course Piccolo and, and Gohan try to avoid this by he have a whole area up so they won't track him. But that ended up basically backfiring him when they decided to fire a whole when the guys to fire a whole bunch of attacks on him. And apparently Tien, now Tien, Goku, and Vegeta noticed this, and they decided to go after the big purple guy. Well, Vegeta and Goku do, the big red guy, and, well, Tien goes after, well, helps Piccolo and Gohan, of course, they, Tien does go after the, the guy firing air beams, of course, he uses his, his multi-personal technique, is, is a four-person technique, it is basically, it's kind of his version of the Shadow Clone Jutsu. This probably was the inspiration for that particular Jutsu in Naruto, because, well, Kishimoto loves to, he took a lot of stuff from Dragon Ball Z. This is probably one of the techniques he took. The difference is, chakra energy are kind of the similar things, so he doesn't have the vibe between the two of them. And like the Shadow Clones from Naruto, they're taken out with it like one shot. They'll use it actually twice. And apparently Beerus has never seen his attack before at all, which makes sense. Yeah, I personally didn't have a problem with him basically saying, hey, what, what is that move? And Krillin knowing exactly what the move is because he's known TM for a long time, so it makes perfect sense for him to know this. Mm -hmm. And of course, TN fights a guy for a good period of time and actually eliminates also, also eliminating himself, though he did also take out the guy's arms first. Yep. Now, before a whole sniper thing started, there was an annoying boar alien trying to explain his backstory. Yeah, and he was like so boring because he, he gets knocked down. He shows up at the end of the episode with the blob guy. He says, I want to get payback. I'm going to tell you about the story of how I got my doctorate. And of course, Vegeta's like, Who cares? And knocks over the middle of the ring. It was so funny. Yeah, but this was a pretty good episode. I mean, just like last week, eliminate three people. Actually, four people this time. Yes. Four people got eliminated. Though. At least two from the same universe. I think two from, I think it was Universe 2. Was it two? Yeah, two from Universe 2. One from Universe 6. Yeah, the Doctor Guys from Universe 6, surprisingly. And of course, Tien himself got eliminated. Though we basically dragged the other guy out using the same multi personal technique. Um, like, of course, he also uses Neo Triop, his Tritium Cannon on him. And yeah, that was the last of Tien. Tien, prior to this episode, here is kind of the dumb thing about this. This is by far the only episode of this entire arc he actually does, well, well, during tournaments of, he actually bothers to do anything. Yeah, his one episode, and he eliminates one person of the entire tournament. One. Though at least he had press for showing at least Krillin managed to eliminate like four people before he was eliminated. At least he better show up his, his stuff prior to this. But Tien... Don't care about him. Just have him get eliminated after like one episode feature him actually do anything. Yep, because prior to this, all he when you would see him, all he was doing was simply just defending other everybody else with defending Master Roshi, Krillin, Gohan, and Piccolo. 
Piccolo, of course, had to do a couple times. We had to regrow his freaking arms. Though he had to sacrifice some of his stamina in order to do it. Mm hmm. Yeah. Though at least they actually used their heads and actually did something this episode. But I would say the one person uh, who didn't get a chance to do much of anything is probably Goku. Yeah, him and Vegeta didn't do much of anything except take on the big blob guy. And they said, like, okay, apparently energy attacks pick on. Okay. So I figured out, okay, what can we use against him? Okay, okay, we can't use our energy powers. So Vegeta's like, throw a freaking rock at him. <laughs> yeah. And he goes, and he throw freaking, uh, it's not like small rocks, no. Let's throw freaking boulders at him. It's like, okay, let's use brute strength. Yeah. Pick up a huge rock and throw it at him. And eventually the guy got eliminated, but was, that was by far the most hilarious moment of the whole episode. But yes, at least that the five members from Universe 7 actually managed to do something in this episode. Who actually still in the tournament. Excuse me, as for the Android twins and Frieza, they did nothing. You see them briefly before the closing credits, but that's it. Yeah, of course... The Yama King basically this whole thing of hitting a screen and whenever it makes eliminated. Of course, they had. Of course, there was four eliminations in this episode. So yeah, yep. And of course, the grand pre, the grand minister basically doing commentary, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. All right, so good episode. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for this particular view. My next view, newest chapter, One Punch Man, and this one, I'm very happy with this one. Okay, but do you see the next view? Bye.